Well, here's another yellow squash update. This is the yellow squash that began first producing on June the 14th. Since that time, this one plant, even though it's it's starting to show signs that it's, you know, wearing down and, and maybe coming to the end of its lifespan pretty soon, it is still producing and spreading. Um, I just got seven yellow squash off of this plant. Seven. That's the most I've ever gotten off of it in one day. And my poor little cucumber that's so dried up and just about done, he still has one little vine over there that was a little green. He gave me one more cucumber. So I'm just doing this quick update to show you guys that, and I still have I still have squash on this. I still have some squash on there that are still growing. Plenty of them. Probably at least four or five in different places that it's just they're just too little to to pick them yet so he's still massively massively being uh productive so as of today this makes 58 yellow squash off of this one plant off of this one plant since june 14th so uh, almost 60 squash from one plant that just goes to show um you know and i haven't done a lot to these th uh, plants i have you know tried to treat them for the bugs and i have you know watered them th with the banana water and sometimes fed them with epsom salts and i did the eggshells and a few preventatives i've stayed after it uh pretty regular and um but it's just it just goes to show you that um you know it, a good plant can produce that much for you so I'm I'm looking at another little squash right there. I was trying to zoom in on it. I can't find it. <laughs> but anyway, and that's not even counting my new squash up on the hill that's starting to already put out. I got my first yellow squash off of him yesterday. So just a quick update. Um, as of, I think, two days ago, I had 60 two cucumbers off of the cucumber plant off the only cucumber plant that I planted this is num cucumber number 63 so again from one plant so you don't have to do a whole lot um, but if you want a small garden to supplement your summer salads or your summer meals with a good side of squash squash casserole zucchini bread or whatnot then this doesn't take a whole lot. It just might take a few plants to get you going. So hope this encourages you to do this next year. It's been um, a real blessing. So I'm still learning. Talk to you later. Bye.